Check. Nachos. Check. Beers. Check. Dimmable lighting. Checkmate. Wow, guys, this movie night is shaping up beautifully. Movie night? No, these are our supplies for when the apocalypse happens. Really? With these provisions, your heart would last about a week. Uh, I think you'll find it sustained us for the last six years. It's a medical miracle. Technically, we should have triabetes. Oh, which reminds me, M&M's. Peanuts and chocolates. Checkity check check. Well, it's lucky your apocalypse provisions dovetail so nicely with my idea for a perfect movie night. So, let's get cracking with our first batch of faulty movie moments. The brain segment is the frontal lobe. Um, it's Pacific Rim. Fantastic. Guillermo del Toro's exciting and spectacular monster film is surprisingly enjoyable, but it's not without a clangor or two. Go on. Well, I'm either alive and Check out that headpiece that Newton's wearing. I see it. See it now? Fasten round his neck without him touching it. Shockingly unrealistic. Unlike that giant floating cage you brain, which is bang on. Great! It's Star Trek Into Darkness. Star Trek Into Awesomeness, more like. Kirk's drowning his sorrows, but check out his glass. The futuristic orb of ice is drowned in whiskey. But now, where's the whiskey gone? Been transferred. Teleported somewhere? No wonder he's upset. Take one of the greatest works of literature ever, get Baz Luhrmann to make an awesome film of it starring Leonardo DiCaprio, and what do you get? Romeo and Juliet. Absolutely. Sadly, The Great Gatsby wasn't half as good, but hats off for their hard efforts. Hats off indeed. But wait. Hats on here. Oh, and the car they're overtaking vanishes. Hats all, folks. Watch out, watch out, look. Clichéd and clunky, White House Down shows there inevitably comes a time when any president is required to fire a missile launcher out of the side of his limousine. If this whole concept wasn't mistake enough, check out Channing Tatum's arm. As Jamie Foxx strikes him on the head, we see either some marks for editing or a really oh. terrible tattoo. Hit me in the head with a rocket while I'm trying to grab. It has to be. World War Z now, but you won't be catching any Zs if you watch this hard edged neo zombie action thriller. It's great. But listen to Dr. Fastback making a basic medical error. The analogy I keep coming back to is Spanish flu. Spanish flu? It didn't exist in 1918, but by 1920, it killed 3% of the world. Didn't exist in 1918. I think you'll find it broke out in 1918, mate. <laughs> and that's your lot. See you soon for some more great, great movie mistakes. mistakes.